Hi students. Today I'd like to introduce you to a technology called a proximity switch or a proximity sensor. The prox switch is this silver object right here. The way it works is it puts out an alternating magnetic field. When a conductor comes in front of the sensor, there are eddy currents induced in the metal that goes in front of the sensor. This attenuates the magnetic field or dampens it. The sensor can detect those attenuations and it closes a switch which then indicates an object passing in front of the sensor. So let's take a look at how this works. Now we're going to use the bridge port because it has a digital readout and we can actually look at the accuracy of this process. This surface right in here, this is out of range of the sensor but this surface right here is within the range of the sensor. So there should be a step if I move the sensor back and forth across that little ridge. Okay, so let me put you on the tripod so that I have my hands free to run the bridge for. And let's see what happens. So I'm bringing the sensor now in front of the metal and you can see the little light turned on. Okay. If I back up, light goes off. So let's see how accurate this is. I'm going to bring the sensor just to the edge of that metal ridge so the light just barely comes on. and I'll zero my digital readout. So let's go back and forth over that ridge a couple times and see how much variation there is. So I've moved the sensor off about a quarter of an inch. Now watch when the light goes out. Still on, still on. Okay, so we're five sheets of paper away from that edge. Coming closer, coming closer. Two sheets of paper away. We're within a third of a sheet of paper. Now that's two tenths away from where I zeroed it. And we'll keep going. Let's come in the other way. Coming in, coming in. So now I'm at six sheets of paper, two sheets of paper away, and the light goes on. So that is a very, very repeatable sensor. So where are you going to use this thing? Well, these are typically used in things like we are right on the edge. These are typically used in end of travel sensors. So maybe I have a carriage moving back and forth inside of a robotic system. If I don't want it to run off the ends, I could put one of these prox sensors at each end. And when the carriage comes in front of the sensor, it will tell the machine to stop. That's one typical use. Another typical use is in engines. You could have this prox sensor looking at the gear on a camshaft. When it goes around to the point where it finds a missing tooth, you know your engine's timed and the ignition system can fire. You'll find these prox sensors in just about every modern engine. So it's a widely, widely deployed piece of technology. Now this sensor I bought on eBay, this was about a $2 sensor. So in terms of price, per per price for performance, these are really nice little units. So I hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.